This is the most frequently asked question from my Facebook uh, Affinity Designer Support Group for graphic designers and for uh, surface pattern designers. How to make sure that the Clip to Canvas option, which is accessible here, is working properly. Clip to Canvas means that you are clipping away everything that is outside of your working uh, canvas in your document. So you're not seeing all the things that you put outside of your working document. If I unclip it, then you will see that the rest of the pattern is located outside of this uh, main pattern tile, um, along with a color palette and sometimes I have some mockups. If you want to see the pattern in isolation, then you have to use Clip to Canvas. But for some of you, this option is not working or you're not able to access it or you don't know how to access it or you think that you have everything set properly and it's still not working. And in this video, I wanted to show you a few settings that you have to be mindful of so that everything is in place and you can access Clip to Canvas without any problems. So for starters, when you're creating your new document from scratch, in case you're not using templates, you select new document, you have to be very mindful that this create artboard option is toggled off, so it is switched off. This is what it looks like if it was on, this uh, circle turned white and it moved to the right side, you have to make sure that it's switched off. Okay, so let's go back again to the same document so that I can show you how to access Clip to Canvas. One way to do that is to go to this uh, hamburger menu here in the upper left corner, Canvas, and then Clip to Canvas. But this includes, in my opinion, way too many steps. It's like one, two, three clicks. And instead of that, you could be utilizing uh, this symbol here, which kind of looks like a windshield. To me, you can just toggle it on and off to clip everything, so to make sure that everything around is invisible, and to unclip to see all the other design elements that you placed outside. But sometimes this is not working for you, and uh, one advice that I would give is to go to the sub-menu. Next to this icon here of the, the preview mode, you see that there's like a little triangle here and when you click on it another extra menu opens and uh, at the beginning it didn't work for me as well and i noticed that this clip to canvas was switched on over here you again can recognize it because the circle changed from gray to white and if i deselect it if this option here in the sub menu is deselected then you will make sure that the clip to canvas button here will be working for you properly so in case nothing is working for example if this was selected this button you would see that it changes its background from light gray to black but nothing is happening open the sub menu deselect this clip to canvas so that everything is working <laughs> So I hope that now everything, everything is working for you properly. You can always reach out in our Facebook support group if you have some extra questions. I have built this pattern using my automated template which uses symbols and a guide that you can see here. And next week I will be uploading new videos to this channel where I am explaining how to build such a template for a standard repeat pattern. And I will be uploading an extra tutorial on how to create a simple pattern uh, with a standard repeat, so a full drop repeat, using such automated templates. So in order not to miss out, I am warmly inviting you to subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss out when those videos are live. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.